let's continue with our knowledge of blockchain in depth we have already seen what is the transaction in this module and in this video we'll be seeing about some more major terms like a distributed ledger a smart contract cryptography so we'll be dealing with more major terms to understand the blockchain in a much better way having seen the transactions and the integrity of the data which is one of the key strength of blockchain that what makes this integrity of the data having seen this now in this video we will be focusing on terms which are known as jagrans and which keep on confusing people but after watching this video in this module of blockchain in depth i am confident enough that these jagrans which might be confusing you before will not be able to confuse you more so what are these key terms the key terms are distributed ledger consensus cryptography and a smart contract in this video we'll be focusing on these four key terms of blockchain what is a distributed ledger a distributed ledger you can think of as a data structure it is basically a data structure which is recording keeping the record of the transactions which we talked about in the previous video a ledger is recording your transactions it is storing your transactions and this ledger is distributed between different nodes of the blockchain it is possible that in a blockchain there is only one ledger or depending upon the application there can be many ledgers so what is a ledger a ledger is a data structure which is storing your transactions on the blockchain a ledger is keeping the record of the transactions for example a ledger may keep records of multiple transactions in the bank a ledger may keep the record of transactions in the land registrar office a ledger may keep the records in a birth certificate office it can be any type of record a ledger is a record keeping data structure in case of blockchain we say that it is an append only data structure where only append can be done a group of transactions are grouped together and they are recorded in a ledger which is distributed and replicated so it is a replicated data structure which is append only it is replicated to different nodes to different participants of the blockchain now when it is replicated to different nodes of the blockchain to different participants of the blockchain a question arises that what give the consistency of the data which is recorded in this distributed ledger we have already seen that the integrity of the data is maintained in the transaction by hashing the transactions by storing it as a merkle hash but what give the consistency the different nodes in the blockchain is keeping the same data how this data is maintained in a consistent way this question arises in our mind so now we will see the concept which give consistency to the data which is replicated to different nodes in the blockchain consensus or mutual agreement this is the key point the jagran which give consistency to the data transactions are happening think of it the different transactions are happening in different nodes which are grouped together and combined in this ledger in the block different transactions which we have talked about how the transactions list is stored as a merkle root hash in the block it is stored in a this distributed ledger now different nodes are having the same copy of the ledger what how does this consistency is achieved so this is because of this consensus mechanism algorithm 
in second unit we have dealt in detail by explaining different consensus mechanism algorithm and by comparing them over here i'll give you a brief that there are complex algorithms which when solved then only the transaction becomes the part of the block and the block is committed it joins the chain only after approval of those complex consensus mechanism algorithm there is in fact in blockchain platform the scenario which keeps a record that only when four further blocks have joined i am saying a number in a liberal way it is an not an ideal number means it is a introspectively number that for example we are saying that after four blocks joined into the chain then only we say that the block which has joined has been confirmed a chain keep on growing and if in between a wrong block has joined the chain is discarded because the next block will join only to the correct chain so this is how the consistency is achieved by this consensus mechanism algorithm some examples of consensus mechanism algorithms are proof of work proof of stake proof of elapsed time these consensus mechanism algorithms are dealt in detail in unit 2 of this course the concept the need of this consensus mechanism algorithm was to maintain the consistency between different parts of the blockchain between different nodes of the blockchain to achieve the consistency that all the parts are having the same copy of the ledger the states of the transactions are changing at every time to have the same states visible to all the parts to all the nodes to maintain that consistency the consensus mechanism algorithm plays an important role another very important term in blockchain is cryptography we have heard a lot and even learned about many different cryptographic algorithms so what differentiates in blockchain blockchain also uses the traditional cryptographic algorithms but it focuses on hashing the cryptographic hashing technique makes this blockchain secure and there are two levels of security one is we have already seen the transactions are stored in the form of a merkle tree the root hash is stored in the block and the second part level of security is achieved when one block joins to the previous block by using the hash of the previous block so these two hashes which are used in blockchain gives blockchain an added security feature this cryptography added security to the blockchain platform for example hyperledger version 0.6 uses bucket hash tree ethereum uses patrica merkle tree to store the hashes of the transactions so we can say that by combining merkle tree and hash pointers blockchain offers a secure and efficient data model that tracks all the historical changes made to the global states another key term in blockchain is smart contract this smart contract is a self executable code which executes itself on every transaction processing whenever a transaction occurs this smart contract is executed at the background and it is a part of every blockchain platform even in bitcoin the smart contract exists though when we talk about ethereum the word smart contract becomes much more particular but smart contract exists in bitcoin also though in bitcoin there are hardly 200 opcodes by which the smart contract is made and in ethereum the smart contract coding goes to numerous levels so smart contract is inbuilt in a blockchain platform and it is a code which is self executing which is executing on 
execution of every transaction on the operation of every transaction at the back end the smart contract is executed for example in bitcoin if mr x is transferring 100 bitcoins to mr y then at the back end it is the smart contract which is checking the address of mr x and mr y which is checking the signatures of mr x and mr y and which is checking the accounts of mr x and mr y at the back end of this transaction processing it is the smart contract which is executing it which is verifying it and which is finally validating it so smart contract plays an important role in all the blockchain platforms now to conclude this video we will see a small comparison of different blockchain platforms and see what consensus mechanism algorithm what type of transaction model they have what type of smart contract they have what type of language is required to write the smart contract on this platform we will have a glimpse of that comparison and talk in few words about the comparison and in further modules we'll be seeing this comparison in detail so let's see that comparative chart let's zoom it yes so this row over here shows the uh, the first row shows the name of different blockchain platforms after that we have the applications for example we say that zcash can have write an app so zcash is used for cryptocurrency applications and litecoin is also used for cryptocurrency we have bitcoin second last number we have written it is also used for cryptocurrency so let's talk about bitcoin bitcoin is used for an cryptocurrency application the smart contract execution is native we don't need to write down any smart contract over here the language which is used for that smart contract is either golang or c++ the model is transactional based and the consensus mechanism algorithm it uses is proof of work let's see another platform ethereum which we'll be seeing in detail in our course ethereum can be used for general applications we'll be executing the smart contracts in ethereum and the machine which executes it is known as an ethereum virtual machine the language which can be used is solidity and serpent in our course we'll be using solidity language the data model the ethereum used is an account based model an account based model means every transaction every smart contract every user would be having an account so it is using a data model which is an account based model the consensus mechanism algorithm of ethereum has now shifted to proof of stake it started with proof of work and similarly you can go through this chart this chart gives a comparison of different blockchain platforms of different blockchain protocols and the data model the smart contract language how the smart contract execution is taking place which type of applications do they generally deal with and what are different consensus mechanism algorithm which are used by these platforms in continuing this course we'll be seeing more about consensus mechanism algorithm we'll be practicing on a smart contract so have happy learning thank you